Hi there traders, this is Steve Miley, the Market Chartist for FX Explained and our regular weekly Macro Watch update for the week commencing the 20th of July 2020. Markets cautious, but in a risk on phase. And we're going to start by looking at the macroeconomic and geopolitical developments that we've seen in here over the past week. Well, we've had positive coronavirus treatment and vaccine results in here over the past week or so. Initially, um, a week or so ago, we had remdesivir drug um, post posting more, still more positive results in its treatment of COVID-19. But we've also had trials of vaccines with Moderna and from Oxford University posting positive trial results for potential vaccines for the coronavirus COVID-19. That's helped riskier assets, particularly the equity markets, push higher in here over the past week. But markets are still caught between two conflicting aspects at the moment. We're seeing the more positive improving economic data, the macroeconomic data, but we've also seen positive data on the earnings report, which we'll come to shortly. Macroeconomic data over the past week from Europe, from the US and China, all posting better than consensus expectations. But on the other hand, we're seeing COVID-19 concerns still with many US states, those southern and western states, Florida, North and South Carolina, Arizona, Texas, California, all posting higher cases and hospitalizations and numbers of deaths from coronavirus. So that's a real concern with some states going back into various lockdown measures. U.S. earnings season has started well, as we said there. We've had Citibank, J.P. Morgan and Morgan Stanley all reporting better than anticipated earnings in here over the past week. And we've also had the EU recovery fund talks uh, begin with hopes high that that is going to get passed, uh, which is another positive fiscal response from Europe and should see a more positive risk on theme continue should the EU recovery fund be passed. And also within Europe and the UK, lockdown easing is going well for now. We haven't seen significant increase increases in numbers of cases and deaths. There have been pockets of increases, but as of now, European and UK lockdown easing is going well. So let's see how this has all impacted on global financial markets over the past week. Well, the S&P 500 has continued its push higher that we've seen from late June through early July, trying to break out of this June consolidation theme, poking above, prodding above the June peak in here over the past week with a similar outcome for the German DAX in here, prodding above the June peak with a more positive tone seen so far in July. The Nasdaq in here did make another new record high in the past week, but then set back, which has seen the direct directional leadership move away from tech into more value stocks with the S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average in the US taking that directional leadership baton from the Nasdaq. In the bond markets, US 10-year yields stay very, very low and have nudged to new low yields in here, um, multi-month low yields in here in the last week or so as we've gone into July, approaching those low yields that we saw back in April and the spike down to low yields in March. The US dollar continues to weaken here the US dollar index pushing down to the level seen previously in June and then not far below that level seen back in March so US dollar weakness in here coming through um, and that's part of that risk on theme as well remember the US dollar seen very much as a safe haven in here um, during the whole um, um, pandemic so we've seen US dollar as a safe haven so the US dollar weakness is really reflecting more of a risk on theme. And the euro has been the best beneficiary um, versus the dollar in here. So we've seen both a strong euro on the back of hopes around the EU recovery fund and then also a weaker dollar. Also the successful unlocking of the European economy compared to where the US economy is going back into lockdown has seen euro dollar, um, euro outperform the dollar. So euro dollar, EUR, USD pushing higher above those June peaks in here and now honing in on an important level up at 114.96 from March. Elsewhere in the commodity space on the um, COMEX Copper did put in another new multi-month, a multi-year actually high in here over the past week and dipped back from that but only a slight dip maintaining a risk on theme whereas both crude oil has been more sideways in here over the last week alongside gold but then still with underlying bullish positive pressures. Let's now take a look at the week ahead commencing the 20th of July. 
Well, US and global COVID-19 cases are still very much in focus, particularly from those southern and western US states. We're going to be monitoring those over the next week. On the central bank front with our central bank watch, on Monday we get the PBOC interest rate decision, the People's Bank of China. And then on Monday also, a Bank of Japan meeting minutes from their last meeting are released. And then Tuesday, the meetings from the Reserve Bank of Australia, the meeting minutes from their last meeting released on Tuesday. Earning season continues in the US and we're seeing Coca-Cola, Texas Instruments, Microsoft, Tesla, Amazon, Intel and Verizon all reporting this week. So to summarise on the macroeconomic side, we've got the Bank of Japan meeting minutes and the PBOC interest rate decision on Monday. RBA meeting minutes and Canadian retail sales Tuesday with Canadian CPI on Wednesday. The weekly US jobless claims number on Thursday and then UK retail sales Friday with then global market flash PMI data for July finishing the week off on Wednesday, on Friday, excuse me. I'm going to wish you all a great trading week and please do stay safe out there. So traders, don't forget to catch us on the next FX Explained Macro Watch and all the great content on fxexplained.co.uk.